What's going on guys? We are coming to you recording from Houston, Texas. We love how Mobile Homes was able to help us afford this entire trip with just one deal. But right now, we wanna know, are you a full-time student or are you working a job full-time? I'm sure you're asking yourself how you're gonna be able to be a full-time student or work a full-time job and still be able to invest in Mobile Homes. So yeah, in this video, we're actually gonna show you how much time you're gonna need and where your time should be going, whether you're looking to make this a full-time business or you're just looking to make it a side hustle. So stay tuned. And for the best mobile home investing advice, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell and be notified when we post new videos every week. When we first got started investing in mobile homes, our time was extremely limited. We were working 50 to 60 hours a week, so even on the weekends, it was just tough for us just to get the ball rolling the way we wanted it to go. Yeah, and our goal was to make this our full-time business, and so we wanna show you the four things that we focus on to get the most out of our time because it was very limited. So first things first, how much time will you need when you're getting started? We say if your goal is to run your mobile home business full time, we say you're gonna need at least 10 hours a week. It doesn't matter how you chop it up, you might be able to get your hours done Monday through Friday, working two hours a day, or uh, be a little bit more flexible on the weekend and put all your time in the weekend, maybe five hours a day each day. As long as you get those 10 hours a week, you're gonna be able to eventually run this business full time. Yeah, and so if you're looking to make this a side hustle or a hobby, we recommend that you at least put in five hours a week. You have to make it a weekly commitment. You can't just do this one weekend a month and think that you're gonna build momentum. At least five hours a week, whether that's on the weekend or one hour a day throughout the work week, whatever works for you, just get those hours in. So focus number one is getting the knowledge. And this is so, so important because you wanna learn so you can avoid making silly mistakes and you can reach success a whole lot sooner. So we recommend that you follow someone's blueprint, right? So follow someone that's already been successful doing this. Um, I recommend that you follow someone that's done at least 10 deals. That way they know the ins and out of the business. They can guide you when you know something might happen that's unexpected. For sure, you wanna avoid making silly mistakes. Don't do what we did and learn from the school of hard knocks. Follow the blueprint, it's going to lead you to success. And by having that blueprint, it's gonna allow you to focus on one thing. There's so many different strategies, even in mobile home investing. You wanna focus on one strategy to get you to whatever big audacious goal you have. Focus number two, becoming a local market expert. You want to become that go-to person. That means you're gonna want to test, test, and test again. Test your market, figure out what mobile home parks are around you, and figure out what homes are going for in those parks. What do buyers demand in your area? What do sellers demand in your area? Become that go-to person sooner than later. Yeah, and do not forget to network. Network with other real estate professionals. Network with people that can help you out, that can get you closer to your goal because the more people you talk to and you let them know, hey, I invest in mobile homes, the more deals that will be coming your way. So don't forget to let people know what you do. So the third thing you should be focused on is finding leads so you can secure the bag. Um, that's how you're gonna get deals, is by finding people that need to sell their mobile home and they need to sell it fast. And a lot of times you're not gonna find these people online, on Craigslist, on Facebook. These are all off-market deals, right Jay? For sure, but what you're going to find online is the retail market. We say retail versus the wholesale market. With the retail market, you're gonna find a lot of people selling their home on MH Village, on Facebook, and you're gonna see a lot of homes are high priced. These people want retail price for the home as much as the market will pay. Don't let that steer you away, don't let that scare you, because we focus on the crisis market. The crisis market, this is where individuals need to sell their home. They, ha they have a home and they don't have a lot of time, they don't have a lot of money, they need something. Usually it's some type of financial crisis, they're sick, or they need to move just as soon as possible for a number of reasons. The majority of our deals come out of that crisis market. 
but that retail market is gonna let you know a lot about your market use that data because when you find these homes in that crisis market when you fix them up or sell them as is you're gonna know where you can price these homes at in the retail market so definitely use that data retail versus wholesale focus number four is one of our favorite parts qualify your leads you're going to want to qualify every lead that comes through you don't want to waste your time going to every single appointment again we focus heavily on the crisis market we want to find deals where sellers need us they need to sell their home as soon as possible don't waste a lot of time driving around to each and every appointment because you're going to be ultimately wasting your time and wasting the seller's time yeah and remember we make money when we buy the home that's where all of our deals are made it's always on the buy because we know like jay was mentioning before the crisis market versus the retail market and we know we can make a spread in between so focus on only the most qualified deals you're already limited on time so don't waste your time trying to chase every deal so now you know how much time you're gonna need to invest in your mobile home business and where your time should be going but this doesn't mean much if you don't know how to find your next deal that's why we created trailer cash for beginners checklist in this free checklist you'll learn the step-by-step -step process we took to close over 200 mobile home transactions in two and a half years. You could download the free checklist at the link below this video or by going to trailercastchecklist.com. If you want to join a community of trailer flippers just like you, we've started a Facebook community where we share all types of tips and tricks and we have all types of wins and losses in there. Please join, introduce yourself, and say hello. And if this video was helpful, be sure to write helpful below this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.